Well, this is some bonus footage. In other words, it's not related to the conversion of the of the Jeep. But while I was out just test driving in the parking lot, I mean, it's only did a, a lap out there. I wasn't out there very long, but I thought, you know, going forward when I'm doing the testing, it would be nice to be able to put the windows down. And the electric windows appear to be, you know, plugged in and everything looks to be installed, but they're not working. So I started, you know, just giving things a, a quick look-see. And one of the things when you're troubleshooting is observation. So first thing I did was I... I kind of looked to see if the you know the wires run are they connected to anything, and they appear to be, but I didn't trace them all the way to their, you know, uh, destinations. But I did notice right off that this ground wire wasn't connected, and if I put it to ground, I can hear a relay clicking over on the driver's side. But putting this to ground didn't change the scenario at all. So then I unplugged the, the plug right here. And I noticed that there are four pins on this side of the wiring harness. And there's only three pins here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you can see the three pins there. And get the right angle here. Anyway, there's there's four there. So caught my attention. So I go over to the other side to see since it's the driver's side and has you know switches for both. It would make sense that it had the four pins. I go over there. Sure enough. So. It looks like they have the wiring harness reversed. This side should be going to the drivers and the other side should be coming to the passenger. So I'm going to look to see how involved it is for me to, to, to get that loose um, and, and trace down. I'm going to look and see uh, how things are, are wired. It's, uh, you know, should be rather simple. But trying to track things down in the mess of wires. You saw, you know, the stuff that was hanging down in earlier videos. Um, so I'm going to see if I can easily track it down. I'm not, uh, not wanting to charge them for this. I'm just doing it just so that I have the convenience of being able to put the window down when I'm testing it and I can, you know, uh, be sensitive to sounds both inside the vehicle and with the windows down outside the vehicle. So let's take a look and, and see what's going to be involved here. Well what we have is we have um, a couple of red wires, a couple of brown wires, and a green and black. And so I can see where they run and uh, you can see there's quite the rat's nest up there. I wasn't about to go through and try to clean all that up. That's just man hours that uh, I wasn't going to spend. But this looks like it runs on the outside of things pretty much and so I'm going to cut some wire ties, bring this loose, and then uh, drop it down, swap it around. Well, that came down easy. Half dozen wire ties to cut. And it comes over here, and we can see there's a relay and fuse right here. And I checked the fuse, the fuse is good. We can see that there's a 
brown wire and one of the red wires, one of the brown, one of the red, goes to the relay over there. And then from the relay, we've got a wire that goes over here to the accessory. Right here, this little blue with red. And uh, the power wire right here is going over and it goes through the firewall. And we'll take a look and see where it's going on the other side of the firewall. Well, I traced it here and this is a determination. So we're not, we don't have power hooked up. So the relay is being activated, but then the power that goes to the contacts of the relay, so the, the relay coil is being activated, but not, not power to the contacts to operate the windows. So we'll connect that, and, and we'll have to hook up that one ground and rerun that harness, but I think, uh, I think we're going to have electric windows. So I plugged in the harness before I... Uh, you know, thread it back through all the other wiring just to test things. And so one of the things that uh, I noticed right off the bat before when we would hook up that one brown wire to ground that, um, that you know, whenever we did that, the relay would activate. So we don't want the relay on all the time. So I switched the power source to a switched power source so it comes on with the ignition so now when I turn on the ignition you can see these little lights light up and they light up on, on both sides well interesting thing is that the switch on the passenger door doesn't work the switch on the driver's door which is what I'm showing you now the passenger window goes down Okay, and it and it uh, and it goes up. Okay, that was down on the passenger side. Down, up. This nothing. So the downside is up and the upside is down so they're reversed so the thing to do would be correct the wiring to the switches which is obviously not correct <laughs> but to do so would mean I would have to pull off these these um, door covers and you know around the fresh paint and you know you can possibly break the little things, and I don't have any for it, and I don't want to chase them down. Like I said, this is not my job. I was just doing it just to, you know, I thought if I could easily do it, there's just one more thing off the checklist for the guy who will have to go through the, you know, the Jeep stuff itself. Someone else, after I'm done, will need to go through and make sure that this Jeep is safe to operate. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing the conversion aspect of it to make sure that it operates. You know, we were just completing the conversion. That's our only task. And that has led us down quite a few rabbit holes. So we're almost there. We're just going to pull the motor at this point and find out, you know, what's causing some issues with the noise and vibration, those two issues. And uh, I just thought it would be nice to be able to put the window down when it's 100 degrees outside and I'm test driving this out in the parking lot. So that led me to this rabbit hole. <laughs> so I'm not going to go any further. I'm not going to pull apart the door panels and fix the, the wiring over there You know as to why that switch doesn't work on that door but this switch works on that door correctly. Down is down, up is up, and this one, 
up is down and down is up. <laughs> so anyway, a lot of people, like I've mentioned earlier, get a little overwhelmed by wiring. I, uh, I don't have that uh, problem. This is the part that I like the most. And like I said, if it were easy to pull this door panel off without risk of breaking some of the tabs or scratching the vehicle, I would do that. But it, it, it's, it's not worth it to me at this point. So we're going to, um, you know, I, like I said, I changed the, the source to the relay, so it's only on with the ignition. So the ignition's off. You can see the little light on the switches is off. Um, rewire this thing uh, up into the rest of the wiring to where it's tucked up and out of the way and call it good because uh, I can put down both windows from the driver's side here and uh, I just have to remember that on the driver's side down is up and up is down on the passenger side down is down up is up <laughs> so anyway uh, another little uh, task on the Jeep completed and we'll see you in the motor video.